Hey, 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 can you stop by asking a question? Yeah. I'm the freshman here. Can you buy me alcohol? Um, no. <laughs> what about some uh, marijuana? Uh, I don't, I don't have any. <laughs> well, can you get me into the party? Uh, no. <laughs> All right. All right, keep moving. Bye. Bye-bye. Not bad. What's up everybody, we are back with another video. Today we are at UMass Amherst, so every year kids come to college for an education, of course, but the only thing is they move away from home and they miss their mother's cooking, they miss their dad's cooking, they miss their culture's food, so they have to resort to dining hall food. And I'm not saying that's right, but some people make their college choices based on the food options. Ben, did you do that? So I wanted to take my Chinese grandpa to the dining hall to try Chinese food to see if it's comparable to real Chinese food. But this isn't just any dining hall. This is UMass Amherst Dining Hall, the number one dining hall in the nation. And what sets it apart is the diverse group of ethnic foods they have. They got Indian food, they got African, Mediterranean, Italian, Korean, Japanese, Mexican, Latin. But of course, we're here for the Chinese food. So say hi to my Chinese grandpa. Hi. We're in college. You excited? Oh yeah. How's the Chinese food look? Oh, so far it looks very good. A lot of student family, they, they told me that you master food. Excellent. Very good food. I never try it, but you can mother to try one time and she say it excellent. This is their street food station. We got Szechuan mussels. The mussels are a little small, but it's very tasty. Not your mussels. <laughs> I think there's a little bit of spice, not really that spicy though. When you put the name Szechuan in it, I expect well, it to I be really all, spicy. You know? Well, I think there's a lot of students. They can't take too hot their food, you know? So that's why they make a minor. I think they're better. You know? I don't think they're trying to make it as close to authentic as possible because there's a lot of Chinese students here. But it tastes really good. Wow, this muscle I just took, with a hot. Hard or hot? With a hot. Hard. Hard, yeah. Rate the muscles out of five. Like a four. That's pretty good. Three out of five. I'm not a fan. Szechuan ribs, they don't really look red. They just look like regular ribs. This is what I'm looking forward to. Okay, they're making a rib almost like a Chinese restaurant make it. So if they make it a little more soft, tender, not better. And not fall off the bone like a southern restaurant. Yeah. Better than a Chinese restaurant's rib? Mm, tastes okay, but compared to the time I make it. <laughs> yeah, no one's much. a better chef than you. <laughs> Thank you. If you had to rate the ribs out of five, what would you rate it? It's usually like a four. Four? That's pretty good. Yeah. 4.5 out of five. I want it to be a little bit spicier, you know? Very good. I'm gonna call you. Hello? They call me. 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 call me. She's saying she loves me. She's gonna try the veggies. Which is very good. Very good. How is it? Yeah, very good. Makes you want to hook up with a freshman. Mm. Rate the stir fried veggies. Wow, the green is got a race up to five. Five? Mm. It's really that good. Yeah, very nice. It's not overly salty. The veggies, five out of five. Braised tofu. That's a tofu. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Tofu a little bland. Mm. It's style. Tao Fu, they cook another Cantonese style. I think this is more northern. But I would say the Tao Fu, I don't like that much. Like the tofu. One. Two out of five. And that was just the appetizer, Gung Gung. Yeah. I got you your favorite fried rice. It looks pretty good. It's got some bean sprouts, some carrots. Oh, smell very good already. You know, first thing, you look good and smell good. When you taste them, and one kind of taste that we call wok hay. It's the wok flavor. It's the flavor Your wok, wok flavor, yeah. Wok hay, really hard to get. Yeah, only the good cook, and they know how to get the wok hay. You saying yeah. that a UMass Amherst Cook's got that wok hay. I think so, you know, you know, you know let me oh. try one spot. Okay, yeah, okay. I tell you. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I think it's a more Chinese flavor. That's Chinese? Yeah. Take a bite. You're boosting it up a lot. I don't even like bean sprouts. Do you like bean sprouts? Bean sprouts? <laughs> <laughs> It's like a fried rice that you get at a Chinese takeout restaurant. That's not bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take the fried rice, Gung Gung. Raise? Oh. Not raise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> raise it too, but rate it. Five out of five. Looks good and tastes good. Perfect. Let me get another bite of that fried rice. It's a little dry. You can use some duck sauce or some soy sauce, I think. No. No? The rice tastes like this. The rice got it dry. Can't wet. It's good. Okay? It's not wet. I don't like it, the fried rice is the wet. I like another thing that's wet. Mm. And more juice. 
<laughs> so now we got the stir fried egg noodles and now your choice sam um, chow mein, yep, you yep. know? It's egg noodles with mm -hmm. beef and tofu. I put some onions, you get to have a little station, you get yeah, to yeah, your yeah, veggies. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I put the fried. Asian veggies, I put the Napa cabbage, yeah, the bok yes. choy in it. And it looks pretty good. I asked them for a little bit spicy. That's pretty good. It's not too spicy, but it's got that kick. You want to taste it? Yeah. It's actually really good. If I went to school here, I would probably get this all the time. That tofu is a lot better than the last tofu. Right. It's soft. Mm -hmm. It's not hard. Let me try the beef. Is it a little dry? This is not a cooking problem. The problem is not a cook to cut the beef. They didn't cut it small enough. You know, this one to cut it too thick, so they make the beef in the top. Cut it slice, you know, like a pieces. It's too big for you? Basically, they got lazy and they didn't want to cut it into smaller pieces. So right. It's, it's but it tastes good. okay. Stop being lazy. Cut the meat. Other than that, what do you rank the stir fry noodles? Mmm. Noodles okay. They are like a four. They taste a little sweet on the sweet side, right? Mmm. Yeah, you like it too, right? That's better than a lot of Chinese restaurants. Yeah. I wish I went here just for this dish, not gonna lie. I would rate it a five out of five. Other than that, Gung Gung, it was pretty mid, right? Look at that. It was pretty mid, right guys? It was average or whatever, you know? And why'd you change your clothes? Which one? Your clothes is different. This guy's a diva, he just changes outfits between foods. Oh yeah, don't be mad, I dress better than you. Anyways, next we have chicken kanji, which is juk. Oh, I love juk. It kind of looks like oatmeal. Well, they make it really good. The water, you know, not too much, just right. The rice looks really good. Tastes a lot of ginger. Ginger and cinnamon. I don't like that. You don't like it? Too much ginger. Ginger is good for you though. The ginger you can good for the person who get gets cold. Okay, so do you like it? Do you think it's good? Oh yeah, the ginger is very good. This is I will rate it like a four. I'll probably put the kanji 2.5 out of 5. If you ate this at a Chinese restaurant, would you accept it? Yes. Oh. They make it like that? Good for the students to help. They, they want the students to be healthy. Oh yes. Someone's got to pay for the tuition and if they die. <laughs> <laughs> this word is just makes me want to transfer here. It keeps spitting. Yeah, yeah but it, my tea, you know. What school do you go to now? Phoenix. All right, next we got the Mao Pao tofu, jasmine rice. Mao Pao tofu, I love it. Isn't it too spicy? I've seen you, you can't eat spicy food. Are you calling me a bitch? No? I can't. You can? But yeah, I can. You say oh, you're your grandmother. Every time I'm gonna order, your, your grandmother say no. Sometimes I don't wanna eat it because I wanna match with your grandmother. She's holding you back. That is it. Your wife is making things easy for her. You know, she don't like it, then I'm okay. You gotta go with her. That's cute. I love her, yeah. I love yeah. her very much. I love her too, more than you. Well, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's try the mouth house hopefully. They put onions in it. It kind of looks like tomato soup. And it's got pork in it too. I think it's like ground pork. Yeah, they call it Five star. Five spice. I put the five spice in there. Yeah. I don't see any Szechuan peppercorns though. There's no mala in here. Too much. <laughs> Take time. Yeah, too spicy. <laughs> I told you, you're too spicy. Yeah. But they use the wrong kind of hot sauce. The normally they use it, the pepper. Some kind of people use it, the white pepper powder. Like, how's it with the jasmine rice? Tastes good. So yeah. rank it out of five. I would say three is okay. Not bad. Well, it's still not bad. I'd probably do 3.5 out of five too. I like spicy. Um, if you like it hot, yeah, you can put them on five. You think Chinese students would like it? Yeah, the northern students, yeah, they must be love it. You want to try the vegetable spring roll? That's a solid spring roll, Gung Gung. Mm. I can't even lie. I'll say five out of five right away. That one? Yeah. I agree. You got the veggies in there. The crisp is nice. You heard that crunch. Nothing wrong with the spring roll. Mm. Then again, it's really hard to mess up a spring roll. Really nice. Five out of five. Bing bong. F in your life. What's up, baby? <laughs> Sell out Ayana. I miss you. I'm telling grandma. Wow. <laughs> now we got lo mein. It looks a lot like the stir fried egg noodles we got last time. Lo mein is not supposed to be egg noodles, yeah. no? No, no, no. Any kind of noodle, you can use it. You you know? Know? When you go order from like a Chinese takeout restaurant, it's like Well, they use it uh, kind of like a cheaper, a little wider than noodle. Yeah, this is the right noodle they use it. This is how it's supposed to be made. Yeah. But in Chinese takeout restaurants, they use the wrong type of noodle. That's right. Oh, yeah. interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, no. this is a Chinese restaurant in Chinatown. Mm -hmm. They use this kind. Lo mein is real Chinese food, not fake. I just put a whole green onion in there. He got lazy and then chopped this whole green onion. The Chinese restaurant cook the lo mein without meat or anything. They must be used it. They call keong chung lo mein. That's what this is? Yeah, keong chung lo mein. Keong means ginger. 
two men scan it and they ate the beef sprouts in. It was like a vegetable lo mein. This yes, the veg- best taste is Gyeong Chung lo mein. Honestly, this is the first time I ever had real lo mein. And who would have thought? It's in a dining hall in a college. <laughs> <laughs> So rank the little low main out of five. Like a two out of five. Not that good. <laughs> Not that good? I'm yeah. shocked because I like it. Maybe that's because I'm so used to the Well, you like it, you put them on three then. Not I, more I, than I three. Say, I say three and a half out of five. Don't judge me. Because of your juksing. Well, that's all right. Juksing still know how to eat. I don't know how to speak Chinese though. You should learn some. But that was why I disappointed you. You don't speak Chinese. Bong Dong Hua, Siu Siu. good. Oh yeah, they are all right. They should do okay. I can order dim sum in Chinese right now because we're about to get dim sum right now. What dining hall you know has dim sum? Now we got the chicken dumplings. They call the chicken dumplings, they call all this dim sum. I wouldn't really call this dim sum, but... Oh yeah, you can call them a dim sum. You can call this dim sum? Oh yeah. Have you ever heard of a dining hall that has dim sum? No. Kind of looks like a Siu Lung Bao, Siu Pyong Ling, right? Yeah, right. You like chicken dumplings? Well, let me try it before I let, let you know. I don't like the flavor. I don't like it. What could they do to make it better? You can make a flavor like a more close to the Chinese flavor, right? But that's yeah. just what you're used to, that's why. Right. I still think it's good. These are more like the Nepalese style chicken momos, but it's still good. So what would you rate it? I did a three out of a five. I say four out of five. All right, Gungung. Now we got crab rangoons. In Chinese restaurant, we make it too, you know? But they don't have that in China. No, China. no, no, no. Not in China. It's very Americanized. Yeah. Yeah, like a fry one time, yeah. Crab meat and then have cream cheese in there. Not a real crab meat. Mm-hmm. But it's all right. Tastes good too. I personally love it. Oh, you, know, you love I it? I love it. Oh yeah, I like it too. It's like fake booze. Preferably you want real ones, like real Chinese food, but it's still good too. Well, yes. Well, it looks it, like there's no crab in it. No crab meat, this one. It's just cream cheese. Yeah. And fried wonton shell. I saw a little crab in there. No, no crab in there. No, see, look, a little red. Ah. Nice, they put one piece. You gotta wipe stuff on your face. You use that at Okay. I think it's yeah. good. The main thing of crab and goons is cream cheese and the wonton shell. You don't really taste the crab meat. Anyway. Yeah, but that's okay. You can without that. You know, the main thing is the cheeses are good, you know? It's a cheese rangoon. Yeah, you're right. I like it. What do you rate out of five? I would say it is a four. Four out of five too, you're right. By the way, we finally got chopsticks. No. Yeah. You gotta enjoy Chinese food with chopsticks. Oh, uh, no fall. You can chopstick with any food. I should start bringing chopsticks to like Italian restaurants and eating spaghetti with chopsticks. I do that. So now we got the ho fun noodles. It's yeah. like the wider rice noodles. Yeah, right. And it comes with beef brisket, bok choy. Uh, now what about this one? Chinese call uh, law bok. It's a really good one. So how thick this noodle? Oh god. Notice we're not talking and I'm not paying any mind to the video because this is just so good. Oh well, yeah, this one is almost another name called Hong Siu Ngao Yok Min. They should have a ginger in it. They did. I just got oh, yeah? a big piece. Yeah, Maybe okay. they just forgot you. They like me more than you. You're right. <laughs> What do you think of the beef part? Yeah, the beef all good. How about the noodles? This one good. It's a little slippery though. It's all right. Tastes good though. How's the broth? How's the soup? Uh, I have better. So what would you rate it out of five? Like a four. I say 4.5 out of five. I really like this. Damn, slow down. Don't I would tell me what to do to do this. This is really good. You should change for air. I graduated. Oh, yeah, ago. yeah, yeah, you're right. I'll reapply for my bachelor's here again. I'll do that for you. Okay. Just so you can eat here. Okay. And waste four more years of my life. <laughs> all right, it's dessert time. You know at the end of every Chinese meal at a Chinese restaurant, they yes. red bean soup. Always, you know, for the ending. You want more red bean, mine's more watered down. I like it more uh, bean. What do you call this in Chinese? Hong Tao Sha. Mm. It tastes just like a Chinese restaurant. Hong Tao Sha is good. I like it. Really good, yeah. But then again, a lot of the chefs here, they're Chinese. So I think they know what they're doing. So what would you rate it? I would say uh, the five. I have to agree, five out of five. It's authentic. Oh, damn, you're gonna eat all of it. Oh yeah, I gotta finish that. Don't waste your food, eat them all. What if I get fat? No, you're not the fat. Okay. Now, there's a red bean bun. Chinese name called Hong Tao. It's kind of wet, huh? Yeah, well, it looks good. It looks really good, huh? It looks good. Let me try it. 
I like the red bean paste. I don't like the bao texture. It's a little wet. Yeah, but it was okay too. Does it taste similar to the red bean ones you get in Chinatown? Yes, this is exactly like the one in Chinatown. It tastes just like home. What would you rate it? A five out of five. This is really good. That's one of the best things I had here, huh? Yeah. You want another one? Oh yeah. Here's some nipping. What are you doing? Hey, you never steal any food from dining hall? Put it in. Okay. <clears throat> this is for my wife. She like that? Okay. That's All love right. right there. Okay, Gung Gung, that concludes the video at the UMass Dining Hall. What do you think of the Chinese Dining Hall food? I think it's a very good for the Chinese student. You recommend Chinese students to come here? Oh yeah, why not? Not for the education, for the food. Our oh, education is the food. Okay. <laughs> food first though. First food, yeah. What was your favorite food that you had there? The Mapo Dao food is good. The ribs, spare rib. Spring rolls are very good. Dim sum is very, very good. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Watch other videos up there and down there. Until next time, we out, right? Gung Gung. Bye. Very good. <laughs> Ding bong. F your life. Oh, this is good enough. Yeah. All right.